Hello everybody, I hope you're doing well today. Today I have my Homeworks Fall Candle Empties to share with you. These are the Homeworks candles that I've burned for September and October. Apologies for my voice, I've been battling laryngitis for the past two weeks. I'm going to keep this empties video pretty quick and concise, which y'all know is difficult for me, but I want this to be a shorter video so it's faster and easier for me to edit. I hope everyone's been enjoying the fall season. I have quite a bit here, a lot that I love, so let's go ahead and jump right on in. I finished the sticky bread pudding. The notes are caramel cinnamon vanilla bean and spiced butter this scent was just okay for me it was a one and done scent there wasn't enough bread there wasn't enough bakery basically i got a lot of caramel i got a lot of sweetness i got a little bit of spice but i just wanted more of the actual bakery it burned fine it was strong it's not one of my favorite scents one that is one of my favorite scents is this cinnamon french toast this one is absolutely amazing toasted brioche grated cinnamon nutmeg sprinkled powdered sugar this one had a fantastic burn super strong like an eight and a half nine i have purchased multiple backups of this one lots of bakery in this one just the perfect amount of like bakery spice and cinnamon it definitely smells like cinnamon french toast you get the little bit of sweetness but it's not overpowering as far as like the syrup or the maple and i absolutely love love Love, love, love this one. Highly recommend. I finished Fall Farm Stand. This one was sent to me by Homeworks. If I don't say that it was sent to me, that means I purchased it with my own money. But there are a couple of these that they sent me as PR. I love the packaging of this one. Just super festive in fall. This one is sugared apple, golden pear, vanilla bean, and honey. This one had a fantastic burn. Also was a really good strength and throw, about a seven and a half. The scent itself is a very like syrupy apple and pear scent. You definitely get a lot of the honey. You definitely get like this syrupy apple and a syrupy pear and it smells like an apple pear honeyed syrup. I enjoyed it. The next one I finished is Spice Acorn. This was also sent to me by Homeworks. Really love the packaging of this with the leaves and the acorns. This one had a fantastic burn as well. Also was very strong. This one was like a nine strength and throw. I don't have any issues with my Homeworks candles as far as burns. The notes are Fallen Acorn, Nutmeg, Gala Apple, and Warm Date. Some people said this smelled like a cleaning product. To me, this smelled like a woodsy, outdoorsy, fresh fall scent. If you've tried Bath & Body Works Fall Farm, house candle it's in the same family as that so lots of like a woodsiness definitely a conceptual scent i really enjoyed it i would definitely pick up another one of these and again the strength and throw was really great i finished not one but two crackling fireside if y'all been watching my videos you know that i typically just burn one candle of a scent within a season and if i burn two that tells you a lot this scent is absolutely fantastic i adore it i absolutely love it it's definitely going to be in my top 10 scents i love the label when this is burning it's super super pretty the burn on this is absolutely fantastic fantastic as you can see you can see down to the wick clips super strong as well eight and a half nine in my home the notes are oak leaves roasted apple smoked cedar and cinnamon stick i was initially afraid of this one because i thought it was going to be too smoky too heavy on that fire side but the fruit and the spikes in this are just perfection the fruit adds just a hint of sweetness. You definitely get more of a, to me, a bonfire kind of aspect. You get the smoldering embers. There's some woodsy aspects to this. There's some warmth from the spice. There's a little bit of sweetness from the fruit. And then you get that bonfire aspect. And it's just perfect, perfect, perfect for end of October, early November. And again, highly recommend it. I love it. This one is still available on the QVC website. I have been buying up multiples of this one because it's just absolutely fantastic. So highly recommend it. The next one I finished is Caramel Apple Spice Tea. Really, really cute label on this one. The notes are Orange Spice, Red Delicious Apple, Caramel, and Clove. This one also had a good burn. And the strength and throw, for this one was about a six and a half, seven, so a little bit lighter than some of the others. This one does smell like a spiced apple tea. The caramel is not super strong, but it is there, adds a nice sweetness. The tea sort of adds a little bit of this herbal undertone to the back end and sort of dials down that sort of sweetness that you would expect from like a caramel apple scent. But if you've ever had a really nice spiced apple tea and maybe you drizzled caramel in it instead of honey for sweetness, that's what this one reminds me of and I really enjoyed it. The next one I finished is Autumn Pumpkin Patch and this label, y'all, look at this. It's absolutely stunning. All of those heirloom pumpkins, oh, so beautiful. The notes are heirloom pumpkin, fresh ginger, red apple, and cinnamon sugar. And this is just your quintessential pumpkin, slightly spiced scent with a bit of apple. I really enjoyed it. It's not like the most unique scent, but it is a good scent and I enjoyed it. You see here, the burn went fine. This one was a little bit messy on the sides here. The wicks on this one, I was really 
really careful not to over trim. Strength and Throw was about a six and a half on this one. I wish it was a little bit stronger, but I really did enjoy it and it was one of my favorites of the season. The next one I finished is Dutch Apple Pie. Again, this label is super cute. The notes are red apple, cinnamon, clove, and pie crust. This one came out last year, I believe. The, the thing, I, the issue I have with this scent is that there's not any pie. To me, it's a spiced apple scent. I happen to like spiced apples. I love any kind of apple scent, really. So this one was fine with me, but if you think it's going to be a pie scent, I can see why you'd be disappointed. The burn was fine. This one also struggled a little bit with like smaller wicks. I was just really careful not to trim the wicks. Just burn it. Just light it and let it go so this one doesn't need to be trimmed. The strength and throw on this one was a little bit lighter. It was about a six, but still a really nice, good spiced apple scent. The next one I finished is the Honey Glazed Pear. This was one of the trios that came out this year on QVC. The burn of this one, you can see, burned itself out. This one was a bit sooty. It was a little bit of a hot and fast one. I did trim the wicks on this very, very slightly. The wicks were sort of crumbly, so just be careful not to over trim. The notes are golden pear, spiced honey, butterscotch, and aged rum. The scent is a very sweet pear scent. You get a syrupiness. You get a lot of sweetness. You definitely get like what this picture looks like, a glazed, sweet sweetness pear. It wasn't my personal favorite. It was just a little bit too sweet for me and I wanted a little bit more of like a bite to the pear. But if you like a slightly sweetened pear scent, I think you'd like it. The next one I finished is Honey Crisp Orchard. Again, I love the label on this one as well. The lids on this are cute. This one had a fantastic burn. You can see the wick clips. No issues. Again, what I say on all my homeworks candles, you just don't over trim your wicks. If it has a mushroom top, just very gently get that mushroom top off with like a fine pair of scissors. But otherwise, you really don't need to over trim these unless you, it's a ha faster burner and, you know, you're getting a lot of soot. But just keep that in mind. This one had about a strength and throw of about a seven. The notes are honey crisp apple, sweet macintosh, brown sugar, and cardamom. This one was nice. You got a fresh apple in this one versus like a cooked or a stewed apple or like a salsa or a syrup. You definitely got that little bit of a bite from like a fresh crisp apple. You got a little bit of a sweetness. You also got a tiny bit of spice and it really did make you feel like you were in an orchard and surrounded by fresh apples But maybe they were having like they had apple cider on the stove and like a little building over to the side Versus a bakery apple or something like that So I really enjoyed this one if this one came out just by itself I would definitely pick up a duo I finished sugared beignets this scent is absolutely fantastic The notes are French pastry powdered sugar sponge sugar vanilla and cinnamon. It's absolutely delicious and yummy The burn on this one was not so fantastic. You can see here that it was just a little bit of a mess. I lost two wicks. So obviously that is not ideal. I think I purchased this one on Ulta last year. I would have loved to keep burning this one. There's about this much wax left, but you see, I lost two wicks. I tried to burn this one as much as possible and then it just stopped. So yeah, unfortunately the burn on this one cannot recommend. The strength and throw though, while it was burning properly, was about a nine. The scent itself is absolutely fantastic. It's just a delicious powdered sugar bakery note with a just tiny scent of spice and it's always strong. So I do love the scent. Like I said, I finished two of the Crackling Fireside. So just want to show both. Both had fantastic burns. Amazing. Love the scent. Cannot recommend enough. The next one I finished is the Cinnamon Sugar Marshmallow. This one was sent to me by Homeworks. The notes are fluffy, fluffy marshmallow, sweet cinnamon, sparkling sugar, and white cocoa. The burn of this one also was great. The wicks were a little bit crumbly on this one. So again, just either don't trim the wicks or be careful if you feel like you have to, but I just recommend not necessarily trimming them when they're small. The strength and throw of this one was, a, was about a seven and a half, which was actually really surprising considering this was very marshmallow heavy. It really has, it's really a fantastic vanilla, fluffy, puffy marshmallow with just a sprinkling of cinnamon sugar. So if it's not super, super spicy, the spice is there, but you do get a lot of that marshmallow. So it was a really, really enjoyable scent. And I would definitely pick this one up if it came out next year. One of my absolute favorites from Homework, Spiced Apple Crumble. This one is Mixed Apple Cinnamon Sugar Clove and Nutmeg. This one came out last year, I believe. This was the last year's version. Absolutely fantastic scent. I love it. Definitely one of my top scents from Homeworks. You can see it burned itself out. No issues at all. Strength and throw, eight and a half, nine. Absolutely love it. It's reminiscent of Bath and Body Works Apple Crumble, I'm pretty sure. Just a really fantastic, slightly spiced cooked apple scent, but you do get sort of almost this like streusel topping. The bakery note isn't like super, super dominant, but it is is there and then balance with just this perfect combination of the spiced apple. I absolutely love this one. It's fantastic, great burner, and strong. 
Another one that's one of my absolute favorites is Hot Cider Donut. I mean, really, can you just go wrong? Just seeing the picture makes me want donuts. This one, you can see down to the wick clips, burn itself out, fantastic burn. Also super strong, eight and a half, nine. Just uh, love this one, love this one so much. Harvest Apple, Cinnamon Sugar, Vanilla Bean, and Spice Cider. This one is similar to Sugared Beignets. Like they sort of have the same bakery note, but this one, you definitely get a little bit of a cooked apple and you get that sugar and a little bit of spice and I just, it's fantastic. If you love fried bakery scents, a little bit of spice, like this one you just can't go wrong with. Actually just smelling it now, <laughs> it makes me want to burn another one. It's, it's phenomenal, super strong, highly recommend. The next one I finished is Vanilla Orchard Crisp. Really like this sort of very frozen wintry label. This one also a good burn. You see the wick clips. You can see like where the wick let, let out here. It's like I wouldn't trim that. If I were to try to trim that wick, if there were another burn left, it would just break off and cause puny wick. So I would just light this candle and let it go. The notes are farm sand, farm sand cider, brown sugar, vanilla buttercream, and tonka bean. And this one is really, really enjoyable. You definitely do get some apple in this, but it's really the vanilla that's almost the star. You get a creamy vanilla. The tonka adds a different kind of sweetness. There is a crispness you get, but it's not overly sweet. And it's, it's just, it's a really unique scent. Really fantastic. It's delicate and sort of soft. It's it's almost this conceptual kind of scent, but there's also things about it that do make you think sort of a gourmand scent. So it's really unique. My issue is that it wasn't very strong. So I'm, I have one more. I'm going to let that one sort of sit for next year and hopefully it gets stronger over time. But and I'm not really surprised because the vanilla heavy scents tend to be lighter in general. It's just not an oil that is going to be super strong for any company. So it is a little bit lighter. I think for me, I got maybe about a five um, strength and throw, which for vanilla scent, I think that's pretty good. But really like this one a lot. The next one I finished is Apple Spice. Really, really love the jar of this one. The notes are honey crisp apple, ground nutmeg, creamy vanilla, and golden caramel. Really, really nice jar. Might try to repurpose this one. You can see here the burn. Burned itself out, no issues. Don't be afraid of the name of this one, even though it says spice. It's not like a red hot cinnamon or anything like that. It's actually a really like creamy, slightly spiced apple scent. You do get a nice amount of the vanilla and the sweetness from the caramel, but it's not like a cloying, super sweet caramel. And then you do get an apple that's definitely like more of a stewed or cooked kind of apple. It's not fresh and just actually not that much spice. It's like a medium spice, I would say. But it's a really nice scent, especially if you like apple and if you like vanilla, then I think you like this one so not like the most unique scent ever but it's good and the strength and throw of this one is about a seven in my home i have a couple of candles that i finished like at the tail end of august the very beginning of september one of those is pomegranate lychee if anybody from homeworks happens to be watching this video please 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 bring this scent back next year this one it was a surprise favorite for me i absolutely adore it. this one came out in 2019 the notes are pomegranate mango cassis and dried apricot and it's just pho nominal fantastic burn super strong like an eight and a half in my home it's definitely a summery fruity scent the pomegranate adds this tartness and there is a slightly sort of tropical undertone but it's like a tart fruit with a little bit of sweetness and it's strong and it's just perfection like this is the kind of summer fruit that i absolutely love one that's not too sweet or syrupy but it doesn't go like super tropical it's just amazing so really really hoping that this one comes back because i think i only maybe have one more of these it's wonderful and i believe this was my top in my top sense of 2019 i also finished coconut shortbread the notes are fresh coconut milk buttery shortbread lemon zest and vanilla and with the name coconut shortbread you think you get a lot of coconut but i actually got a lot of lemon i would say it was like it was a lot of lemon zest. Maybe someone zested a little bit too much lemon into this particular cookie and didn't put enough coconut, which is actually fine with me because I really love lemon bakery scents and the addition of the coconut was really nice. So it's almost like a lemon shortbread, but it also does have toasted coconut. The burn was fine as you can see. Strength and throw was about a seven, I believe. That's when I burned quite a bit, quite a long time ago now, so I can't quite remember, but it was a good scent. Not one that I would clamor to repurchase, but I did enjoy it. And Lastly, I finished a Guava Sunset. Again, this was the end of August, but look how beautiful this label is, y'all. Oh, just stunning. Those colors are gorgeous. Pink Guava, Juicy Nectarine, Fresh Papaya, Green Melon, Coconut Water, and Mango Wood. A really, really fantastic tropical scent. This is one of the three wicks. 
So it's sort of like I have a couple of three wicks left. You can see how massive those wick clips were all the way down. Burn was fantastic. Strength and throw, seven and a half, eight. This scent has come out again in a four wick. Would definitely repurchase it. It's a favorite of mine. I've been holding on to this three wick. This one came out, what, in 2018. But I decided, you know what? Go ahead and burn it. Enjoy it. Beautiful when it was lit, just when the light and it looks like a sunset. Oh, love it. I don't think guava is used enough. It's a very unique tropical fruit and it was just it's just a really fantastic tropical drink fruit scent but it doesn't have it doesn't have a lot of pineapple and doesn't have a lot of coconut it has other fruits which i find really appealing and again it has a little bit of a, a tartness mixed with some sweetness and it's just absolutely fantastic love it okie dokie y'all that is it that is my homeworks fall candle empties i think this might be a record for me of how quickly i went through this but i'm starting to lose my voice so let me know in the comments below if you've burned any of these which ones are your favorites is there anything that you've burned that I didn't that you think I should try. I always love to hear what your favorites are. If you watch this video in its entirety, leave me a fall emoji below. Thank you all so much for all of your support and continue to watch my videos. I really strive to continue to post content, but life is really busy. Work is really, really busy. And I just, you know, it's all about priorities, right? So I can only do so much, but I do appreciate those who still watch my videos, despite the fact that I'm not posting regularly and really appreciate all of your support. I hope you all have a fantastic rest of your fall season. Thanks so much for watching. Have a good rest of your day. Bye.